We're gonna make over this crate. We're gonna make it look like something super funky, industrial, vintage. Take DIY paint. This is dark and decrepit glaze and stain, all natural. You're gonna definitely wanna wear gloves. You can get it on your skin. It won't irritate your skin. You can wash it off, but it's gonna get into your fingernails and they're gonna look really gross. So not just your usual digging in the dirt, gross. They're gonna look gross. So wear gloves. Flat brush. You can use a rag. You can use a staining sponge. For this project, we're good to go with what I've got. I'm using dark and decrepit straight out of the jar. I also have my continuous mister nearby and I am spraying it with water to help the stain go further. I also keep a rag nearby because I wanna wipe off excess stain. Don't let it sit too long. It will look heavy and drippy. When you stain the inside of the crate, just be aware that wood is much rougher and will take more dark and decrepit. I've got my crate totally stained. The next thing I wanna do is add some wording. I am using the IOD typography stamp. You can also use block type, you can use a stencil. This is what I prefer. I like the kind of soft version that a stamp will give. I was inspired to do this by Funky Junk. I will put a link to her blog and the bottom as well. She is the original vintage industrial upcycler and she's so fun if you don't follow her. We're gonna start with this is is the typography stamp. When you are using an IOD stamp and you're going to do a word, put it on backwards. So it's reading that way, but down. See, it's backwards because when you put it down, it'll come up the right way. This is flexi paper and this is great. You can put your stamp on it and get one of these with every stamp you purchase from me and it's lined up. That way you can see, you can get it straight. I'm using the IOD white ink, damp pad, and brayer. Using the flexi paper, line it up, press gently. This is really easier done on a horizontal surface. When I get ready to put casters on, and I've used them all the time, I like to use a Sharpie, and I simply just mark where I want to drill a pilot hole, and then I'll know where I want my screws to go. When you're doing this, be sure that you're selecting a place where the wood is thick enough, because if I screw into just one of these planks here, it's gonna go out the other side. I've learned from experience. Time to make some rust using DIY paint, summer crush, and dark and decrepit. Here's an up close of how easy it is to get that look. If you like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Everything I used in this project is linked below, including the reference to the awesome funky junk. Happy junking!